Do we trust Edward slash Hughes? I feel like we're panicking without knowing the full story. I mean, do we trust Edward slash Hughes? Well, we don't really have much knowledge of whether we should trust Hughes or not. I think Hughes will be a very good sporting director. But yes, I do trust Edwards. I do. There's one line that just keeps making me nervous. And that line is the one I spoke about a minute ago from... Was it Ben Jacobs? Yeah, that the pair are not afraid to make a bold appointment. That's the one that kind of um, worries me a little bit. Because what's classed as a bold appointment? You know, is a bold appointment a Gary O'Neill? A Thomas Frank? Or is a bold appointment... A Chevy Hernandez or an RNA slot. I don't know. This video is sponsored by Surfshark, the best VPN on the market. Surfshark is an app or browser extension that allows you to change your location to access websites in other countries and keep you safe and secure from hackers. Using Surfshark, we here in Ireland can access other countries' Netflix libraries or other streaming platforms like The Zone in Spain for all those important Premier League games. Surfshark keeps you safe and private by protecting everything you do online. Everything. When your device connects to the internet, all that information is, in a way, blurred out. Surfshark is particularly useful for keeping you safe from being hacked if you use public Wi-Fi. Let's say you're in a cafe, you're a college, you're out and about, they've got you covered. Surfshark allows you to use one subscription on unlimited devices, meaning you can share your account with friends or family or that neighbor who's a little bit cheap. On top of all of this, Surfshark offers a 30 day money back guarantee. You can also upgrade to Surfshark One, which includes the VPN, an alert system for breaches related to your data, such as emails and credit cards, and an antivirus software for your desktop. Our sign-up offer gives you Surfshark VPN for a little over two euro a month and you'll get an additional three months free. Simply scan the QR code on screen right now or use the link in the description and enter the code Anfield Agenda at checkout. One thing I think I can say fairly confidently is you don't have to worry about Mourinho. It's not going to be Mourinho. That's what I've been told repeatedly today by journalists and a few other people. I don't know why Mourinho was at the Fulham game. I can't answer that question. But I don't think we need to be concerned about Mourinho being offered the next job or the job at Liverpool. Uh, it's weird he was at the Fulham game. I don't know why he was, Ryan. I haven't been able to get the answer to that, mate. Maybe he was just putting himself in the frame. Or maybe he just wanted to start speculation. Or I really don't know. So we'll start off with this poll. And I've just said, Jose Mourinho is our next manager, yes or no? For me, it's a very, 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 very big no. Very firm no. Look, I've been honest all the way through this. And I've said two things. That Xabi Alonso and Ruben Amram are the two that I want. And any name after that is going to be a distant uh, second or third. But I will get behind, like most people, whoever the club's choice is. Doesn't mean we don't have our own favourites. Doesn't mean I don't have my own thought processes. But Mourinho very much doesn't figure in my thought process. I think football, and especially because of the Manchester United connection, it's just a no for me on Mourinho. I've, I've told you guys before that back in 2004, he was a candidate for the job along with Rafael Benitez. The club went with Rafa and the rest is history, but doesn't stop his name being linked today. So look, we've got the poll up there on Mourinho and I'm glad to see that Sense is winning here because so far 70 odd percent of you guys have said no to Mourinho as the next Liverpool manager. But there is one question that I'm going to ask after this one and that question is going to be, do you think there's still a chance for Amram? Because I kind of do, but I don't know if I'm deluding myself with that. Um, I think that that context of him coming in to have a chat with West Ham and Liverpool in the London offices gave me a little bit of hope. Also, if you add to that what Ben Jacobs said about Liverpool going to be interviewing candidates throughout April, it would make sense that if Ruben Aaron does come over and West Ham obviously ponied up for that jet, so he's likely to speak to West Ham first, I would certainly hope that Liverpool at least do an interview with Ruben Aaron to see if it's going to be a good fit or not. But since this process has started, it seems like Edwards has always liked the idea of Amaram, but Richard Hughes has always apparently been a De Zerbe fan and looked to bring in De Zerbe when he was at Bournemouth to be their coach. That didn't work out. Obviously, he went to Brighton, but I don't know how I feel about De Zerbe. Uh, Craig, De Zerbe or Tuchel? Who would you pick? Or Tuchel, I should say. Um, in that, between De Zerbe and Tuchel, De Zerbe. Yeah, look, I, I'd have reservations around Roberto De Zerbe, but... 
between those two, I think Roberto De Zerbi would be a better fit of the two. But I still don't. I can't hide what I've said. For me, it's Amram. Uh, Alonso's definitely ruled out. So we, we can talk about him. But for me, Amram is the best choice. Um, but I'm not the one recruiting. I'm not the one doing the search. West Ham flying in Ruben is very worrying, said Finty Tin. Uh, from Salah and Diaz to Amarum, too much to ask for uh, someone to say they would love to serve the club. It is weird, right? I, I would. I don't understand why Amarum. Amarum, if he takes the West Ham job, if, and I don't know if he will, it has to be because the Liverpool job isn't forthcoming. There's no way I. With all due respect to West Ham. There's no way I'd believe that he would, if he had a decision, would choose West Ham over Liverpool. I mean, logically, I, ju- I just don't see that being the case. But I don't know what's going on right now. So logic seems to have gone out the window today. Uh, surprised no Joyce Tree has come out on the news. Yeah, nothing from James Pierce that I've seen anyway, sorry. Uh, nothing from Paul Joyce. Jamie Carragher did tweet, he quoted David Ornstein, and he said... Uh, Richard Hughes wanted De Zerbi at Bournemouth, so he must be the favourite if this is true. Ornstein doesn't get much wrong. So, Carragher seems to think that it's De Zerbi that's the favourite at this point. Um, but De Zerbi has been, I'm sure, on record in the last week or two, was saying that he's probably going to stay at Brighton, or something similar to that anyway. Gerard has too much love for the club. He wouldn't take it knowing he's not up to it. Um, I don't want Gerrard either, by the way. I love Stephen Gerrard. He's one of my absolute heroes. I've said this to you guys before. When you come into my house, one of the first things you'll see is a framed Gerrard shirt. I love him. Um, and I love him from a personal level because he sent me over a signed LA Galaxy shirt. And um, I've, I've just nothing but admiration for Gerrard. Don't like he's in Saudi, but I just don't think he'd be a good manager for us. And Bayern Munich will still be looking for a manager, said Grim Reaper. Absolutely. And, you know... I think the Zerbi has been high on their list anyway, so perhaps it'll come down to uh, a five for him. I just what confuses me through all of this is who could this target be? If it isn't one of the names that's already been discussed, if it isn't a De Zerbi, if it isn't uh, an Amarum, if it isn't well, it's not going to be Alonso. Then who the hell is it? Like who could Edwards be trying to lure to the club? Who could this? surprise contender be if indeed Liverpool aren't afraid to make a bold decision and Naman said De Zerbi for me Premier League proven and his team plays really eye-catching football I don't know Naman for me mate look I can't deny that he's got something about him and maybe he would do really well with a bigger budget uh, and better players because he had been decimated this season with that Brighton team from the team that they had last year with the players they that they lost so Mm, I don't know. His Brighton team really have flattered to deceive this season, though. Um, but when his teams are at it and at their best, they make football look beautiful and simple. Um, I've just never thought of him as a Liverpool coach. I've always thought of him more as a Man City coach in the future or a Barcelona coach, but I don't know. I, I truly just don't have a clue. And, and it's, really, it's really starting to worry me now because... This can't be messed up. Like, they, they've had long enough to figure this shit out. And they cannot get this appointment wrong. Uh, Aaron said, How much Amram likes to be involved in transfers might have turned Edwards off him. Yeah, I think a, a couple of people have mentioned that, Aaron, in recent times. That maybe... Um, I can't, was it Pranav? Was it yourself, mate? Who said that Amram might not be palatable to accept in second choices on his list. But to be fair... If he's going to West Ham, I would say he's probably going to have less to play around with or less appeal to try and bring somebody in. But I guess if he goes to West Ham, West Ham are probably thinking Guyacarez in there behind him, solving their striker issue. 